Hey guys, so it's time for my whip update where I show you what I worked on for the last month, which was September. But first, it's my mom's birthday on Tuesday and her favorite chocolate bar is Coffee Crisp. And so I went to Walmart and I found her this adorable box of 30 tiny Coffee Crisps, Halloween themed, so they're Coffin Crisps. So cute! It's Halloween, you guys. Um, it says same original flavor, like in case they would be coffin flavored or something. Coffee Crisp is a Canadian thing. Is that right? Coffee Crisp is a Canadian thing, I think. Anyways, that's a side note. Um, let me grab my projects. So I did not work on Peacock Pinwheels or the Mirabilia. And whew, I am all over the place today, you guys. I'm sorry about it. Um, it's my first day back to work, so I'm tired. And also, um, I had kind of a chest cold, and I think it's gone, which is great. But um, also, my back is really sore <laughs> from work today. And sitting the way I'm sitting right now on the floor is not really doing it any favors. So let's just get through some whips and then we will get in a more comfortable position. So I finished Black Lace Sampler. I have yet to film a finished video on that. I should do that today or maybe next week. Um, I'll show you Death by Cross Stitch. I can't remember what I showed you, what I've showed you. <laughs> oh, and so this is the first month without a vlog since I started doing vlogs. Um, and it was so nice not to film or edit the vlog this month. <laughs> not to say that I will never ever do one again, but just to say it was really nice not to film or edit it <laughs> this month. So my Death by Cross Stitch by Long Dog Samplers looks like so. I was right over here in the alphabet portion. I am still really loving this. Still really loving my choice of black. <laughs> black on neutral. And I'm still thinking that I might try and add a little bit of beading in some sections of this one, but that's gonna depend on if I have seed beads that are petite enough to actually fit in the spaces. Uh, because this is one over one on 28 count, I'm not actually sure if I have beads that are small enough, but that is for future Mackenzie to worry about. That's one of my favorite things from Bojack, from Bojack Horseman in the first season where he, there's cat hair right above my lens, um, from the first season of Bojack when he's putting off something to do and he goes, that's for Friday Bojack to worry about or future Bojack and then it cuts to Friday and it's him going, damn it, Tuesday Bojack. <laughs> That's one of my favorite jokes ever from that show. And if I could work in the phrase, damn it, Tuesday Bojack, into my life and people would understand it, that would make me very happy. Um, I finished another thing this last month. I finished my Blackberry Jam, my Blackberry Jam piece from the Sweetheart Tree. And I'm not sure that I'm gonna actually film a finished video on it, in part because I can't really give it away because I have used most of this kit. I could give away the pattern. Um, if anyone's interested in this, leave a comment down below and let me know and I will film one. But I just assumed that because, I mean, there's still a fair amount of beads in here. I don't know, let me know about that. Um, and also I'm not really, Super excited to do uh, really close close-ups of this piece because I did these blackberries all wrong, just 100% wrong. This is the little blackberry jam piece. It's very cute and I like it a lot, but I just did not do any of that beading correctly. <laughs> so it's supposed to be one layer of nine beads, which I did, and I tacked them down, and I think it's nine, it's it's two beads in the middle and then nine beads around it in like horseshoe, and then you tack that down, I did that, and then there's supposed to be seven beads 
on top of that as a second layer to make like the round blackberry shape and so I got seven beads on my needle and I couldn't figure out how to get them to lay in a way that they would look like they're supposed to and maybe it was just like my brain not being able to process <laughs> these um, instructions but so <laughs> so what I did was I did th I did three beads instead of seven and with varying degrees of success oh god some of them look so bad oh my god I don't know what to do here <laughs> some of them look so bad so here's a close-up because my shame is your shame <laughs> they look okay they look okay but they're not quite as full as they should be and yeah, some of them are just straight up, some of them just look terrible. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's done, and I'm happy about it, but I did all of those wrong. Okay, so wasn't I just saying that I needed to, like, make some room to, like, get rid of some stuff? And I finished the Sweetheart Tree one, and I finished Black Lace Sampler, so that's good. But it doesn't make any difference because neither of those were in these project folders which is what I'm running out of anyways next I will show you my Chatelaine I did a fair bit on this I got really excited about it um, fun fact about this Chatelaine is I really got it in my head that I wanted to restart it uh, one of the nights I had off like last month sometime and I so I I did the edges with fray check, but I think my fray check has finally gone bad because it was so loose, like it was really watery, and then and then it kept getting stuck somehow in the like spout. I don't know why if it were thinner, then it would get stuck more, but I just, so I kept like trying to use it and trying to use it and then poking it with a pin in order to like get more to come out and then trying to use it. And this piece of fabric is humongous. It's like, 28 inches square so it was taking forever and I really just wanted to start it and so and then I taped it then I was going to tape it you guys <laughs> and all I had was masking tape is masking tape the one masking tape is the one that's brown right and scotch tape is the one that's clear yes correct scotch tape is the one that's not scotch colored <laughs> you know how you remember things a weird way in your brain anyways so finally I just decided to like whip stitch it and it looks bad but I really wanted to start it so so that's what I did um so this is the progress on my restarted shadowing I love this you guys I love this this is the best decision I've ever made this is the best stitching decision I've ever made everything just looks so much like cleaner and tighter and awesome so that is Chatelaine. How can I hold it in a way that it will be visible to you? So big, still big. I did not work on the perennial border. Sorry, this video is such a mishmash. I just, I'm so scattered right now. Uh, so the last thing I'm gonna show you is Angel of Love because that is what I've been working on for the last week, maybe five days. I'm really enjoying this and I think I'm gonna keep on going um, I'm on the wings now and I think I'm gonna keep on going until either I'm ready to bead or I might start beading it I'm on like a finish kick I feel like I finish black lace sampler and then I finish that sweetheart tree pattern really quickly after that and um, yeah so now that I'm close I'm not close to finishing angel of love because of all the beads but in my head I'm close which is not true because Peacock Pinwheels is way closer, <laughs> but anyways, so I want to work on this, and I think I'm just going to work on it until I decide to stop. So this is Angel of Love. You can see she's got some of a wing there. Um, her face looks nice. She's a lot more blonde than I thought she would be. Hi, Dexter. 
um, she's very she's very yellow haired <laughs> um, and I thought it would look terrible but now that it's all totally done I think it looks okay that's just as charted I didn't change anything there I did change um, her lip color as I usually do um, it was charted to be like a very like muted dusty rosy color very nice angelic lip color but instead I decided to make her lip color the copper metallic because who else could pull off a copper metallic like nobody metallic lips are not very flattering but I feel like an angel could probably do it so that little X is her shiny copper metallic lipstick which I am all in for I really wish I could chart better or I could uh, I really wish that I could alter patterns better because I would love to really play with the makeup on some of these ladies like oh can you imagine if you could add like a little highlight on the top of the cheek or something oh I'm obsessed but I can't because I don't know how to do that so I just changed the lip color and yeah I hey, you're so sweet right now this isn't gonna last so started on the wings and after the wings are done all of the stitching is done there's just a little bit of back stitch and then beads um I want to know those of you who are stitching this or have stitched this or Emily specifically because I think you're finished <laughs> did you bead that big like ring of beads around her head did you bead that first and then back stitch later that seems smart right because you'd have to count out all those back stitch lines and you can't really anchor them to anything because it's supposed to be beads that's probably what I'm gonna do is that what you did you just like stitch the ring first and then you filled in all the lines after that's what I'm gonna do so yeah um, I really like this pattern there are some interesting colors in here and I think I there are some interesting colors in here and I think I mentioned that more when I was doing the the big skirt a while ago but like up here at the top of her dress there's like a really interesting blend of like light blue and deep green and then metallic I think it's really interesting and it really works in a way that I would never have anticipated that light blue in the middle of all those like very earthy colors it's really interesting to me so that is cool that's angel of love and I think that's going to be it for this update. I apologize that it is so short. It is 13 minutes long and it's going to be shorter than that because <laughs> I have to edit it. Um, I think I'm still sick. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it a little bit in my voice, but I feel, I just feel a little bit like I'm not entirely 100% myself <laughs> right now. And I feel like it's coming across. Like for instance, I was just going to talk about Westworld on oh, cats up here on HBO and how excited I am about it but like that does not need to be in this video that can be in a stitchy ramble video <laughs> so I think it's time to call this one done um, thank you guys for your support for the stitchy ramble videos and for me not doing a vlog there's tons of vlogs out there now everyone is doing a vlog so there's tons of vlog footage for you to watch should you be oh my goodness Dexter should you be interested in that so um, I think I'm gonna stick with the ramble videos for a little bit and we'll just see we'll just see how it goes so yeah um, I will try uh, maybe on Monday to film that black lace sampler finished video and I will put that giveaway out there so that um, so that I can send that pattern off uh, the giveaway for the Mirabilia was hugely successful <laughs> uh, we got exactly 300 entries which was very very cool and that is already sent off to Washington so congratulations again uh, and and I think that's it so thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye wait one more thing <laughs> um, so I know I mentioned this at another point in the video but again if you're interested in a finished video for this guy not a finished video, a giveaway for this guy. Um, the pattern, I did use the charm. There's a heart heart charm in it, so that wouldn't be in there. But the beads, I feel like you could probably do it. Maybe you couldn't do it, I don't know. 
if you want the pattern, let me know. <laughs> and I'll do a giveaway. You can have this, but I can't guarantee that it's enough to like fully bead a second one. So let me know about that if you're interested. Okay, bye.